And teachers here in Georgia are also grappling with ideas about how to keep kids safe in the classroom. So school districts across the state have weighed the idea of arming teachers at school. A handful have already opted, adopted policies on that. But is that what the teachers really want? Robbie Watson reports. Well, here in Georgia, it's up to each school district to decide what policy is best for them. But teachers from Muskogee County and beyond share the same sentiment. Armed bodyguard, they say, is not in the job description. Despite the recent uptick in gun violence on school campuses across the country, the Georgia Association of Educators, representing about 25,000 teachers statewide, calls arming teachers a bad idea all the way around. I think it would be a very bad idea to give teachers ammunition and guns in a classroom. It changes the entire atmosphere of what's going on. Teachers in Georgia, she said, support armed security guards who are properly trained. But like everything else, that costs money. Legislators earlier this year doled out $25,000, the minimum, to each school district for security. But that amount would not be enough to fund a single officer in the real world. You're right about that, and I'm sorry, and it's unfortunate that they're not giving more. I think more needs to be given to make sure that our children are safe when they walk into that classroom every single day in that school. There was very little support here locally to arm teachers. The Muskogee County School District, as we previously reported, voted this past summer to create its own police department to address those heightened security concerns. Robbie Watson, WLTZ, First News. And despite all the controversy surrounding school security, Booker says teacher numbers, uh, number one priority remains student achievement and pressing lawmakers to continue fully funding their pay. More details now about this big story. In Muskogee County, the district, new police department expected to be running by early next year. The school district is in the process of hiring a new police chief and 21 uniformed officers and deciding where their new police force should be headquartered. So check out the conversation about this big story and others on a Facebook page. Just like our page at WLTZ First News, you can go there, share some stories and comment about the big stories you do care about.